Hi everyone, this is the Asus ROG Pujio 2 mouse. I've got this mouse since about 3 months now and I thought I'm gonna give you a review about it because it's the kind of device that grows on you and you end up falling in love with it. So let me explain. First, before going any further, I'm gonna tell you that this is not a sponsored video and I paid fully for this mouse. So I got this mouse and when I unboxed it, I thought to myself, so okay, this is a normal mouse and maybe I have overpaid for it. But as I was using it during these three months, I discovered many good things about this mouse, like physical customization and also software customization and even the logo. So you see, when I presented this mouse at the beginning, you see this is my YouTube channel logo. So I customized even the logo. So this mouse really has many intrinsic good qualities. And I'm gonna talk about these qualities in this video. And I'm gonna also cover the things that I don't like so much. So let me start first by showing you what's in the box and the physical qualities of this mouse. So this is everything you get in the box. What's missing here is the Asus Republic of Gamers logo that I already put on my PC. So this is the mouse and inside the mouse, when you open it here, so it opens like this, you have the 2.4 gigahertz dongle. So let me close it back. And you have this Asus ROG logo. So I removed it to put my own logo here. And I have a dedicated video on how I made my logo. So you can check out this video on the link in the description. You have a 2 meters USB-A to USB-C cable that is of very good quality. And you have an accessories box. And you have a user manual and a warranty card. So in the accessories box, let me show you what it contains. You have a switch puller and you have side buttons spares and you have also different switches to replace the switches of this mouse and this takes me to the physical qualities of the mouse so i already talked about the logo now the other physical qualities of this mouse is that this is a true ambidextrous mouse when i say true it means that it has side buttons on both sides because some manufacturers and even Asus and some of its mice, they say that it's an ambidextrous mouse. They only mean the shape of the mouse that is symmetrical. But this has all the buttons, as I said. To continue on the side buttons, you can replace the side buttons. So for me, I use the mouse with my left hand for work. So I kept the original side buttons. But when I game, I use the mouse with my right hand. So I put the covers of the side buttons and this way these side buttons are assigned macros to them and because the replacement side buttons are harder to press I won't run the macros inadvertently when I game. So all these they come with this accessories box. So I'm gonna show you the accessories box. So these are the original buttons that I removed and these are the buttons that I replaced. And also you see in the box you have also spare switches. And talking about the switches, they are Omron switches and they are rated at 50 million clicks, which is crazy. So what is good about it also, and I discovered lately, is that the original switches make this clicking sound. Whereas the switches that come in the accessories box make a different sound. So it is a lower noise sound and I prefer the replacement sound, but I kept both now so that you can hear the difference in the clicking sound. So this is the original, this is the replacement. And changing the switches is really very easy. All you have to do is remove the cover here and then unscrew the screw that is here. So I'm going to change the switch now in front of you and I'm going to put the replacement switch and then this one goes out very easily like this just pull it like this because it has a hook here so careful not to break it so this is the original switch you can recognize it by its blue color here and let me get the switch puller here and then remove the switch very easy to remove like this and this is a replacement switch it has a gray button here so just put it in like this it has three pins and here it is installed so let's put back the cover here and put back the screw and never over tighten the screw just tighten it when it stops turning just stop and let's close back the cover to continue talking about the buttons it has seven programmable buttons one two three four 
five six seven and the wheel here it is really very good and it is also of course clickable one thing i should mention about the wheel even though it is very good and it is rubberized sometimes when i turn it very quickly it tends to click so this is something that you should be aware of so now let me continue about the buttons and the connectivity so you can connect this mouse to your pc in three ways the 2.4 gigahertz dongle that i just showed you we just put it in your pc and it has a 1000 hertz report rate which is really very good so you turn it on like this for the 2.4 gigahertz and to put it on bluetooth we just put the switch up like this and it has bluetooth 5.1 and this is a pairing button here and you can also connect it physically with the usb cable and here it has a dpi button so let me show you how to adjust the dpi very quickly while the mouse is on you need to press and hold this button for three seconds and the mouse turns blue when you turn the wheel backwards it will decrement the dpi by 100 and when you turn it upwards it will increment the dpi by 100 and when you're finished short press this button of course you can also adjust the dpi with the armory crate software to continue on the physical aspect and this time i'm going to talk about the things that i don't like very much i'm not a very big fan of the transparent buttons here but i mean they are here so they are not very bothersome and also on the side here you have this grip which is really very good but it's not rubberized i think asus made this option so that to uh, save weight on this mouse by the way this mouse is 102 grams to talk about the battery it has an integrated lithium rechargeable battery it can be recharged in one hour very fast with the usb-c cable and also the battery lasts 40 hours if you got the rgb lights on of course it depends on the intensity of the rgb lights as you put it and also what are you uh, lighting in this mouse because it has three regions so you can light the logo you can light also the wheel and you can light the bottom of the mouse let me show you you can change it on the fly here by pressing this so you see the wheel is lit the logo and the bottom of the mouse and it can last up to 69 hours if you don't have any lights on so let me show you now very quickly the armory crate software by the way you download this software from asus's website and here when you open the software click on the devices on the left so here select your device which is a rock pose u2 and these are the customizations that you can make with this mouse and they are really very good so these are the buttons here you can customize each button what it does for instance you can assign for it a keyboard function a macro multimedia whatever you want and so on so let me show you what i have assigned so the left buttons here i've assigned macros to them you can check out the video on how i created the macros i'm gonna leave a link in the description below so this is a macro to switch the buttons of the mouse from right hand to left hand and this is to switch for the opposite side so let me show you the macro how it will perform so now i'm gonna click the button here on the mouse so this is the button that will switch the mouse to the right hand mouse so for gaming and notice on the screen what will happen and here's the screen everything is programmed and now the buttons are switched so this is a very nice feature and you have also here the performance you can change the dpi you can change the polling rate the button response and all this stuff and also here you can adjust the lighting so here i advise you to always put the lighting to the minimum so that to save the battery and you have the calibration of the mouse also you have the power also so here the battery percentage and by the way let me show you here also on the bottom right if you want to check the battery percentage on the fly just click here and also you have an indicator on the mouse so the mouse starts flashing when the level of the battery goes below 25 percent and here you can also adjust the sleep mode after being idle for how many minutes you want i put it on one minute and this saves the battery more and also you have the firmware update and here you can update the firmware of your mouse so let me now give you a brief summary of what I like and the little things that I don't like in this mouse. So I mentioned before that I like 
like the customization of this mouse it has an incredible build quality i also like the fact that i can put my own logo on the mouse this is a very nice touch and i also like the battery that has really a very good charging power and also because i use the mouse with my both hands i really like the fact that it is a real ambidextrous mouse with all the required buttons now what i don't like about it are two very small things the first thing is that adjusting the DPI physically is a little bit hard, but I showed you how to do it. And also, I don't like the fact that it is a little bit on the expensive side. By the way, if you want to check out this mouse from Asus, I'm going to leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you. And this will help my channel greatly. If you like this video, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.